Fallout 4 has a lot of mods for it. Literally tens of thousands of mods are available on Nexus and of course Bethesda.net and all the other websites out there. There's undoubtedly more mods released for this game than any other one right now when you actually add up all the different options you do have for each of the different platforms. With that being said, some of these mods actually have stood out. Of course, you do have all your different equipment mods, you have your different landscape mods, and you can't forget about those quest mods that really make the game feel special, but what about those mods out there that are actually combining these, putting them all together into one package for you to enjoy? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the six large overhaul mods coming to Fallout 4 at some point. Maybe some of them in 2018, but I'm sure a lot of them will be coming out either at late 2018 or maybe even 2019. These are mods that are really proving new ground, adding in tons of new content and assets for you to experience and pretty much re-experience the game. Some of them are going to take you to new and unique locations. Other ones are going to take you to familiar places that you probably have experienced before but pretty much all of these mods will come together to make your Fallout 4 experience much better. But before we jump into the video, a few moments of self-promotion. If you guys do want to like or comment on the video, it actually helps with its rating system. It'll make it so instead of the video appearing here, it'll actually appear up there, which is always awesome to see. You know, that really helps me out. In addition, I actually released this mug kind of as a joke on juicehead.net. I have a bunch of other t-shirts on there if you want to check it out, but the mug is more, again, just going to be a limited release joke. I'll probably only have it up for a few days. So if you're interested in getting that, you can find the direct link to it down below. That's the only way you could access it. It's not like publicly available otherwise. But with all that being said, we could just jump into the normal video. Start things off, we are going to look at Fallout Miami. As you can probably guess by the title of this one, what it's going to be doing is adding in Miami as a playable world space in Fallout 4. There's a few things that make this mod particularly special, and I feel like the first of them is the world space itself. It started as a very small project with just Mika999 actually working on this landscape. Really some photos, a few videos, actually checking things out, and as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. Something that I think is still unparalleled. The landscape we've seen through these photos and videos is truly immersive and it really just sucks you in. It makes you want to experience Miami as its new location. Even beyond that, this one actually has a pretty interesting and distinctive lore behind it. We've learned of three distinct factions that will be appearing here. The Dreamers, which are like ex-drug addicts that are just trying to get that high, very akin to the Raiders or even Children of Adam that you do see in Fallout 4. My favorite is actually the Nuclear Patriots. This is a biker gang, or rather an ex-biker gang, that actually has kind of turned good. They're now helping free slaves and just all around make the area a bit better, even though they kind of look scary and pretty daunting to approach. And then finally are the Cubanos. This was a family that made up the rich and famous of the area. They owned hotels, golf courses, and funded a lot of the different things going on. But after the bombs fell, of course, that all changed. Despite them still having a presence, it's much weaker than their pre-war presence, but either way, they're still powerful. These guys have posted a ton of content in 2017. They've been fairly silent in 2018, only having one update, but even just based off the progress they've made thus far, this mod is coming together to look amazing. Featuring, of course, that new landscape, as well as a ton of custom equipment and new NPCs for you to experience. Next up, we do have Fallout Cascadia. This one's really interesting because we know very little about the lore behind Fallout Cascadia. Unlike Miami and some of the other ones I will be showing you, all we've really seen is some of the different equipment and world space coming together with this mod. They've also released a few trailers, which give us an insight to the lore. What we do know is that Fallout Cascadia is going to take place in Seattle. This is going to be basically a new experience in Fallout 4's engine. There may be some connections to the base game when this is finally released, but it's largely going to be a totally independent thing you do playthrough. This is another team that's made a ton of progress over the past two years that they've been in development. They've shared with us many of the different images of world spaces, as well as a lot of the different items and assets that will be present throughout these world spaces. Again, we don't know a ton about the lore, but one thing that actually did shed quite a bit of light on this was a trailer for a standalone quest mod known as the Norwood Asylum. This is Dr. Kaiwa Diggs, patient log number 43. He believes the Chinese will launch a nuclear attack against the United States. This is a really interesting concept. More or less what this is, is again, a standalone quest mod that you'll probably be able to download, hopefully fairly soon. But regardless, before the release of the main mod, and what this is going to be is a quest that you can do in like modern times. It's going to be taking place before the events of the larger mod Fallout Cascadia, but in the same location. So when going to the location in Fallout Cascadia, you're going to see the aftermath of these events. This is something really cool, I really loved this idea, and I would love to see more mod authors do this, even with some of the events in Fallout 4. But in addition to actually the work in progress content, these guys have actually released a mod also. 
That being the NCR Patrolman and Trooper armors, what this brings to the table are a bunch of new armors for you to use in Fallout 4. These are going to be the armors worn by the NCR that do appear in Fallout Cascadia. Obviously, they are bringing them back as a faction. That's one thing we also know about the lore. And it really is a great armor to use in Fallout 4. I know a lot of people love this. It's extremely high quality and features a ton of customization options. Fallout Cascadia definitely is one of the oldest out of the list. I feel like their concept is very unique and in that sense almost a little bit distinctive from some of the other ones. They've given teases of the lore here and there, but at the same time we know so little of it but can still be very excited. So we have the hot topic of the week and that's going to be Fallout 4 New Vegas. These guys had a very recent claim to fame I feel like getting a lot of attention very quickly while a lot of these other mods have been out for longer and kind of had a more gradual climb in popularity. Fallout 4 New Vegas actually went through a lot of turmoil. Although this mod and concept for a mod has been around for a while, there was a change in leadership, some deletion of files, and a lot of bad stuff happened over the course of last year. Fortunately, towards the end of last year, they found new leadership and kind of got their stuff together. And since then, we've been seeing extremely consistent updates from these guys. I would actually say they've been producing consistent content more so than anything else on this list. If it wasn't obvious from the title, what this mod is aiming to do is bring a Fallout New Vegas into Fallout 4's engine. And the whole thing, so hopefully when this is done you'll be able to play through all of Fallout New Vegas. In addition, they plan on taking on some of the different DLCs that were present also, and then finally, they mentioned they even may bring in some new content. One very interesting thing about this is actually some of the new systems they're bringing back. We're working in tandem with other mod authors to bring back to their former glory. A lot of the fundamental features from Fallout New Vegas didn't make a return into Fallout 4. Things like the reputation system, weapon degradation, the old perk chart making a return, and a few of these have actually been released. Most recently, we've gotten a mod that actually brings us back to the old perk system, getting skills and traits back. You can play with it right now in Fallout 4, and it can actually really transform your game, making the way you level up feel very distinctive and different from Fallout 4's vanilla system. They are working on the reputation system right now. It's not really clear whether or not that will be coming to Fallout 4, if it'll just be a standalone feature when Fallout 4 New Vegas comes out. But one thing they have done that really divides them from some of these other mods is release the most content. These guys release more weapon and equipment mods than any of the other people on this list, many of that coming from Deadpool2099, who is a member of this team, but also just a mod author in general and been releasing a ton of Fallout 4 New Vegas era weapons. They've actually brought back some of the most iconic things from that game, the hunting shotgun, the caravan shotgun, the bozar. All these when brought into Fallout 4 can really make your game feel way better and improved, but still maintain that lore friendly feel. And even beyond that, I really feel like these guys give the most regular updates. They are very active on their Facebook page, having a weekly devlog coming out, just talking about some of the progress that was made in that past week. All around, this is very promising. They're far ways off because, well, Fallout New Vegas was a very large game, but these guys also do trickle out content as they progress, which has kept everyone interested and kind of just hoping for more. So we do have Fallout 4, the Capital Wasteland project. Similar to Fallout 4 New Vegas, this is going to be bringing in Fallout 3 into Fallout 4 as another expansion or bringing back that playable world space. This is another one that's been along for a very long time. Some of the mods that kind of, I guess, started this project actually came out all the way back when Fallout 4 modding just started. But I'm getting a little too far ahead of myself. Again, what these guys have done is actually created a ton of the landscapes from Fallout 3 as well as some of the visuals. You know that green tint is nostalgic even if you hate it, to get us to reimagine that game that is extremely old at this point in the updated engine of Fallout 4. And although they've worked on a ton of landscapes as well as released a ton of items, one thing these guys have really done that I feel like some of the other mods haven't so much is worked on quests. I do know they're going to be releasing a new update in the coming weeks, showing even more of the progress that's been made, but even thus far we've seen a few quests from that original game as well as some of those NPCs back in Fallout 4's engine. I feel like this immediately draws you back in, because it was these quests, these NPCs you interacted with that created these experiences. The world space may remind you, but if it's an empty world space it gets very boring very quickly. Obviously all these mods are planning on doing this, but I feel like it's the Capital Wasteland project that has really shown this off and made considerable progress in this category. But again, beyond that, they have released a ton of other mods that you could download right now. Things like the very iconic Chinese cell suit, the NCR veteran ranger armor, and of course the Hellfire XO3 power armor. All these are amazingly well done mods, actually bringing in even custom features. I feel like their mods really stand out from just being a typical armor to have something interesting or unique about them. The Chinese cell suit of course can make you go invisible, but even beyond that they brought in new upgrades and attachments that you can make to the suit to make it really feel a little bit more special and unique to Fallout 4. And even beyond all that, they also do regular live streams, so if you want to follow progress even more closely than the rate at which I release videos, you can check those out and actually keep up to date as it does happen.
Then we do have Fallout Liberty HE Double Hockey Stick. I actually can't say that word because YouTube will flag my video if I do. This is probably the smallest out of the mods I've shown you thus far. It's actually going to be another overhaul bringing in Philadelphia and some of the surrounding regions, but the team is just a bit smaller and they're making considerable progress, especially on the landscape and world space again, but they just don't get as much attention as some of the other ones, not that they don't deserve it. Either way, again, I feel like the landscape and really just some of the aesthetics this mods bring to the table are unparalleled. As you can see by some of these images, it looks like a different game. One thing they're doing with this mod is actually dividing the world space into fairly distinctive regions. There's going to be a mountainous region, there's also a city region, and then just some kind of field-based regions that are maybe a bit more desolate. We don't know as much about the lore of this one either. Again, we've largely seen a lot of the world space being built up, a few of the different enemies that you can encounter there. But Philadelphia is a very iconic place, and I imagine they're going to have no trouble actually building up some of the backstories here. These guys are located on ModDB as like their hub, which I feel like has made it so they don't get as much attention as some of the other ones, but again, not because they don't deserve it. I imagine a lot of people watching have never heard about this, so I'd recommend actually checking this one out, looking through some of the images because it's immensely exciting, hopefully as you can see in the background. And last but not least, we have one that's pretty different than the rest. This is actually not going to be an overhaul like all the other ones, but an overhaul to the weapons in Fallout 4. Wars, or the Weapon Edition and Replacement Suite, is going to overhaul the weapons that do appear in Fallout 4. What that means is, a lot of the weapons that are energy weapons, like the Plasma, the Energy Rifle, the Gauss Rifle, will remain, but some of those other ballistic weapons that maybe aren't as exciting, like the Assault Rifle, the different shotguns, the Combat Rifle, will be removed and replaced with better alternatives. Basically, the monitors behind this one felt that the vanilla weapons in Fallout 4 are pretty boring. That assault rifle is ugly, the combat shotgun and the combat rifle are basically identical, and Bethesda just should have done a better job. So fortunately, we do have these mod authors doing a better job, and when this mod is released, it should transform your game. The things you see throughout your playthrough will be totally distinctive and unique. These guys also have been producing a ton of quality content and sharing with us their progress as it has been made. We get pretty regular updates from them on Nexus, you see me cover them a lot in upcoming mods if you do follow that series, and a lot of the unique content they are bringing to the table will make Fallout 4 feel very different and distinctive. That's kind of why I'm including it in this list. Even though it's augmenting the base game, I feel like it's still going to be a huge difference because of how big a role combat plays in Fallout 4. But with that, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, as always, if you thought this was a cool video, you could leave a like or a comment down below. I highly recommend you check out all the different mods I did show you today. You can find links to that all down below also. But with that, I thank you for watching again, and I hope to see you guys all next time. Later!